I'm going to respond to some questions and comments I've received on my video about small signal amplifiers. First of all, thanks to everyone for all the positive feedback I'm receiving. This video was nearly an hour long and I thought it was way too long and I was considering doing some editing or chopping it up into smaller pieces, but it looks like it was useful the way it is. So thanks for the positive feedback and letting me know that this has been a useful video to you. I've received a number of comments. One of them is about the autofocus. I apologize for that. If you'd like an opinion about autofocus, you can go to the AVE channel and see his slogan. I'm not going to repeat that because I want to keep this channel family friendly. I got an intriguing question from Alistar Duke Vern who asked, is it possible to use a diode instead of a capacitor? Now there's three capacitors here and I think he could be talking about any of the three, but let's concentrate on this one and see if we could substitute a diode for this capacitor. Now, why is this capacitor here? Once again, we have direct current traveling here and here, biasing the system to give us just the right voltage to make this system work. But we don't want that direct current going through our microphone. We need to block it. So a capacitor, the mantra is, it passes AC but blocks DC. And so that is keeping the direct current from going to the microphone, but yet the alternating current from the microphone goes right through the capacitor because the capacitor, especially if it's big enough, is going to act like a short circuit to alternating current, but once again, an open circuit to direct current. So what would happen if we substituted a diode? I'm assuming that he thinks we would reverse bias this diode. That's what makes sense. So there's the diode, and the reverse bias diode is not going to allow our direct current to flow through that microphone. However, as this voltage goes up and down, would the voltage over here track it and also go up and down? Well, the answer is no. And that's because a reverse bias diode acts like an open switch. And it acts like an open switch or an open circuit, both AC and DC so it would not allow the alternating current to go through. Now you might say, well, wait a second, a reverse bias diode acts like a capacitor. Yes, it does, but the capacitance is way too small. So this capacitor would charge so quickly that it still acts like an open circuit. Now there are diodes that are designed to act like capacitors and have much more capacitance. Those are called varactor diodes, but this is a small signal diode. Its capacitance is way too small to transfer a significant amount of current through it. So unfortunately, a diode would not work. And just to test it, I tried it. No, it didn't work. It acted like an open circuit, and it only worked when I bridged it with a capacitor. Boom, it worked. So the answer is no. It's a good logical question, though. So uh, thanks for asking. But no, you can't use a diode in place of the capacitor. So to keep those questions and comments coming, not only do they help make these classes interactive, but they tell YouTube that these are interesting videos, and that pushes them up toward the top of search results. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.